So we're back for another consummate opinion. Tonight we have uh, McBride's here. Obviously. The intern's here. I'm obviously here, the liege. Thanks. What's up, Joyce? Or Joyce. Everyone yeah, that's fine. And, uh, and we have uh, the redneck here tonight as the intern's dad. Yeah. Hello, I am the redneck. Tonight should be an interesting night. I saved the worst sexual situation news stories that I possibly could. Good. Uh, for tonight. Tonight probably won't be a very long show. Interesting because we've been drinking all day. And you guys just had crabs. All day. Yeah, we had crabs. Well, I didn't. I actually, I didn't have any crabs. No crabs for you? No, I did not have crabs. It's crab. Why are you calling it crabs? Like, just to. How many were there? The mic's not even on, I don't think. Yeah. It is on. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, okay. How many? So, you guys, there was crab? It was crab. More than more than one crab? Piles of crab. Yeah, we had. Were there crabs? A pot of crab, yeah. A lot of crabs. A lot of crabs. It's just singular crab. No, wait, wait, wait. We also had T bones. So oh, you guys were boning. Yeah. You guys are boning and had crabs. If if only Ethan was here. Probably right? see a doctor or, about that. Or show. Hey, actually, the the, the T bones were solidly twice the they size of show. Good. They yeah. smelled good. Oh, four and a half inches of T bone. Oh, that's double. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. I feel so bad. I want. I don't even. I don't want to call you the liege. Oh, I guess I got. You I will can. Not call him yeah. The liege. She's no, no. You can just say She'll liege. So you don't have to say the or my or anything. Just I liege. Or I know. Maybe, I know what that word means. Or maybe, so. Hey, dumbass. You know. Or that. I mean, that works. You know, what works. I want you to publicly apologize wow. to McBride oh. for having him sit back here. While we ate dinner. That's brutal. On wow. air. And not informing him. So, uh, you know, I, There'd be a, there, was, there should be a light in here that says live on air. That's yes, totally uncalled for. I, uh, I, I do apologize uh, for uh, all right. being here as early as you were um, and us eating. Was it good? Oops. It smelled good. It was but really good. Too bad you missed it because it was good. I know. It looked and smelled good. Oops. Yeah. I oops forgive okay? you. I forgive you. Oops works. Yeah, oops is great. Oops oh, is oops great. works. All right. Totally an oops. So we'll start with uh, what's new with you. Uh, we'll start with uh, the redneck because yeah, everything's new with him. Start with the newbie. What's new with me? What's new? Everything's um, new. I mean, technically. Well, hey, uh, I'm over here and uh, I really don't know where I am. That's true. But my GPS, my GPS brought me right to the front door. So I'm here with my with my baby girl and uh, her hairy little boyfriend. And we went to the we went to the beach today. We got drunk. We had some rum runners. It was pretty cool. Um, that's all that's new with me. I really have nothing. And you have some steak on your shirt. I have steak on my shirt and my forehead's peeling, yes. And you want to see mom's boobs. And I want to see I want to see the warden's boobs. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. she's not she's not willing to dish it out. And but she she dipped to out back. tonight. Well she's supposed to come back. If I give her a couple shots of tequila, I think I could see she's her. She's not gonna drink anything. Yeah. Tequila's well, good. You don't know me very well. It's gross. You know, I was married to that woman. Yeah. <laughs> was is the key word here. Right. So where did your where did your GPS take you from? Where are you heralding from parts? Um, poor St. Lucie. Parts unknown. Oh, all right. On the East Coast. Of oh, Florida. Florida. Yes. Florida. How how's how is it really red out there? It's what? Is it really red out there? Red. It's, it's, well, Very see, redneck. I would say it's more it, black. It, it was. It was red when I was growing up. Like like storm clouds. Um, yeah. And where I live now, Port St. Lucie, did not exist when I was a kid. That's uh, a lot of Florida. I was, I was born and raised in Stewart, Florida. And Port St. Lucie was one street, right, when I was a kid. And it has blossomed into booming. a mega capital. Yeah, it's booming. Uh, they have the, uh, what's all the golfers do? The the pro golfer tour? PGA tour. The PGA tour, PGA yeah. goes through. Oh, yeah. Goes through there. Um, and when I was a kid, there was nothing. So, yeah, I grew up red. And I, I was a lot redder then than I am now. That's hard to believe. <laughs> Can't even picture that. No, it's, it's not hard to believe. No, P Port St. Lucie, PSL. Um, when I went over there, I lived there for four months, very briefly, and I'm pretty sure I was the only white person in the high school there. Very urban. I'm pretty sure. Four months slash very briefly. Yeah, yeah four months slash very briefly. 
All right, uh, uh, I in turn one, two, three, nothing. nothing. Yeah. The usual. You should skip her because she's just going to steal all your Yeah, yeah. Steal, steal mine. Uh, I didn't mow the lawn because it's already been done. Good for you. Uh, let's see. Today we went to the beach. Uh, yeah, you look red. We all look very yeah. red. You especially, though. You, I appreciate that. You didn't put much suntan lotion on, did you? Oh, I, he did. Put it he all did? over. I have, I have bubbles. Ooh. Yeah, he, yeah, he has water bubbles. I, I, I don't. Bubbles. But uh, I haven't taken a shower yet, so once I take a shower, like a I'm going to hurt. So what you're saying is it's mostly dirt. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Yeah, sand. And I, I, I especially hate sand. I I'm not, not a like fan sand of sand. At all. Living in Florida, it's strange. I'm not a huge fan of the beach either. I, I get it. I like it every once in a while, but, like, not all the time. Yeah, no. it's, it's sticky and sandy. And uh, let's see. What else is new? I'm still waiting for the, uh, the go-ahead or the, you know, let's do it for the whole uh, roller derby. Still oh, yeah. waiting for that. I, still uh, some I talked to a black silk We're about inching that. our way there, right? In, yeah, inching our way. One show at a time. One We're inching our way. We're inching our way there. Huh. I would like to be in on that. Oh, more than welcome. I mean, you, just, you guys got to call me and say, hey, roller derby's on. And the, I'll be here. Yeah, the idea is it's going to be on the 24th. So we're looking at about, what is today? The 12, about three 12 weeks. days from now. Yeah, about, Almost well, about weeks. two weeks. About No, just kidding. Second, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Three weeks, yeah. I'm pretty good at math. Don't, don't jump Apparently. ahead. Yeah, it's time's yeah. time's moving fast. Well, two enough. weeks. Two weeks. I'll be from in Chicago. Then that's that's not good. For that's me. a week and a fortnight. No, that's two, great for you. Chicago's awesome. Two weeks from now will be our year anniversary. Maybe that's where I was looking at that. That's probably it. Yeah, that's, that's it. probably. What I'm with you. Uh, the intern is on the phone with the uh, warden right now. Actually. Oh yeah, warden. I thought the warden's in the same house. No, she was, well, and then she, she left because oh, she had she things left. to do. She had to go put a oh. uh, spare tire in a car for someone whose car tire won't fit. More important than what we're doing, I guess. No, hold on a second. Hold on. We, we have an update on where the uh, warden's status is. Okay. Yeah, uh, warden left to go help somebody who doesn't... Erica's doesn't, ex. Doesn't want to be helped. Yeah. Or, excuse oh. me. The, yeah, the intern's ex, yeah. The intern's ex. She, what? She stays in and contact she, with. she says, well, That's I have weird. a spare tire, and Because she's biz hanging him on the backside. Or does she really like him and she hates that you broke up with no, him? She's been no, she's on the backside. That's yeah, because it, but that's got to be it. If she's she, banging him, that's pretty gross. when she left, I said her spare tire will not fit on his car, and guess what? It doesn't. Weird. I was like, Dad could have told you that. She goes, Well, he didn't tell me that, so I was calling to see if Chris knew any tire places that's open on Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, Saturday at no. eight something p.m. No, on Sundays. She asked if you knew any on Sundays. I was like, No, sorry. No. Tire Hi. places are closed on Sunday. PM? Is pounding mom? Is that what that means? Yeah, yeah PM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 8.30 PM. 8.30. No. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No. Chagrin, chagrin, saying them all. Oh, no, listen, cool. the intern is, is is not accepting of that. I don't blame her. I'd be super bummed about that. <laughs> I mean, I broke up with them with over a year ago. You think that she would stop contact. Yeah. How long were you guys going out? A year and yeah, that's unacceptable. If you guys were in like a super long relationship and he was like part of the family and like that happens, then I get it. Well, see, Even I still, it's her, weird. But I asked her if she wanted to break his legs, and she said no. No. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's, you can't really hate. You can't really fault him. For what? I mean, he's he definitely sleep on your mom. coming out ahead on the end of that bargain. True. Right. Nothing. Crickets. Nothing. That's it. All right. What's in with you, my friend? Um, let's see. What's new with me? I brought the right book bag today. I don't have my nerd stuff. I have my actual computer. So no, um, no Dungeons and Dragons No Dungeons today. and Dragons books. Hey, no somebody magic has cards. a flowery little um, computer laptop. In his there. defense, it's that was my laptop. It's, it's, it's kind of cute. It's pretty yeah, awesome. got it yeah. from McBride. Yeah. McBride gave it We went over this. <laughs> um, it's cool in here. This thing never ceases to amaze me. I know. Um, other than that, honestly, I'm gonna pat nothing <laughs> is you, new to, new for me. I had Mexican food and twice today. Woke up, had a frozen burrito. Actually, it was a chimichanga. It was chicken. It was good. Halfway through it, I had to go to the bathroom. It was bad news. Well, so wait. then hung out with a friend, Peggy, the family. We all went and ate Mexican food at some place on Alt-19. Montezuma's Revenge is real. Um, so I might have to cut out during uh, the show. So Montezuma's Revenge is with water. Yeah, well, there was water. There was water There's involved. Water it was in coming out of my ass. That was the problem. <laughs> hey, Redneck, you can't patent this wonderful AC invention. I can. You know why? Because nobody else has. That's great. Have we ever explained to the listeners what we're working with here? Uh, I think so, but I, I don't know if we actually went in depth on it. How so, long story short, the studio 
the studio. It's yeah. pretty hot. Like the air conditioning tubage or the vent. No, it doesn't work. Not working whatsoever. So we have fans, and that wasn't cutting it. So then Joyce decided to. Did you Google this, or did someone just tell you about it? Uh, Dude, you look like I, you're I, I, I Google. I googled it, and uh, I checked it out on YouTube. Right, so basically, what it is, it's tired. It's a, it's a, a cool. It's a cooler, a styrofoam cooler, or as we call it, our cool weather reservoir. Our our portable AC. That's it. It's got two pipes, which are fully, fully. Angleable, whatever. I can't remember the word for that. What's the word? The action figure. Flexible. Oscillate. That's another one. That'll work. The fan oscillates too. So anyway, it's got two holes in it. There's two pipes. You can aim them at that stuff. So it, and there's like frozen milk jugs filled with water and two liters and stuff inside of it. And then there's a fan on top of it with a hole cut out. So you know, it's basically dawn and of and electricity air. Yeah, it's right great now, stuff. I, I say it's pretty damn awesome. And you know what? I guarantee yeah. it's cheaper than having one of those window units. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Probably doesn't work I mean, as well, but... Yeah, well, no, it's not going to cool the entire room. If but, you, you corner know. the market on the two seats that are right next to it, as we have done, Oh, the intern has something to say. Can I have another What's New With Me again? Um, allow it? It's yeah, really I'm right, we'll interesting. It. It's we'll like a it. news story, but it's just really interesting. You don't start talking about it, we're going to disallow okay, so it. so Joyce gets home at about, well, he woke me up at about 1.45 oh, yeah. in the morning. I'm slow. That's We talked about this earlier, how his name is Joyce, and I don't like it because that's grandma's name. The liege. No, so say it. Liege. No liege. No liege. He wakes me up, 1.45 in the morning, and he goes, there's a house on fire. Oh, yeah, he told me this story. This is exciting Yeah, I, yeah, I told you about it. It's unfortunate for someone, but it's exciting. Yeah, well, people don't know about it. No, that's true. Unless they so, live here, it could be avid listeners on your street. So he says a house is on fire, and I'm like, I was dead asleep. I was like, what? He goes, I'm gonna go look at it. He's like, it's it's just burning. I was like, all right, I gotta see this. So we go, we walk two blocks down the street, and this house is engulfed in flames. Like you just see all the smoke. It was pretty bad. Flames. And and flagrante. It was terrifying to see. Like I'm so curious Spanish how it version. started. Their car was on fire. The whole house is done. That's, that's not good. Also, a bit of advice, Joyce. When waking someone up from sleep, you might want to rephrase, house is on fire. <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't think this house was on fire. I know, but fire. if you say, there's a house on fire, I'm half asleep, I'm here, the house is on fire, someone's going to get kicked. Cause Freaking I'm gonna, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Buckets See, of water. That's, that's not me. I'm like, all right, let's take care of it then. I'd go so you could have said, the house is on fire. I could have. Oh, Actually, dude. when I came home last night, I killed a cricket inside. Wow. How'd you kill a cricket? Brave man. That's murder. Well, it's just that's, that's, actually, that's actually that's actually insecticide, not murder. That's no, that's fishing bait. Don't kill crickets. Don't kill worms. Don't kill crickets. But it was just kill I mean, those it was fish. Just sitting there. I want to eat them. <laughs> All right. So you want to get to the first story? I'm ready. Always. What's our first story? Then? All right. First story here is. Oh, there's so many. Oh, we, oh I mean the classic. What we're going to start with every week. Woman, 25, left her two kids unattended in car while she performed sex act on boyfriend. Great. It's in no. South Carolina, not Florida. Strange. Wow, yeah, it wasn't me. Come on, you would do that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, it's I not his the kids, problem. I'd let her perform sex act, though. With the kids in the car. Well, I wouldn't know the kids in the car because I didn't leave them there. That's true. Now, yeah. the kids were in the car at 12.30 a.m., so in the morning, about 1 a.m., Oh, so it was cool. It w I mean, the sun wasn't shining. Where was this? Utah? No, 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 no. Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. Oh, no, no, no. Just kidding. I'm sorry. That, that was a that was a previous story. Louisiana. My fault. Oh, My okay. Fault. Louisiana. There's no we in Louisiana. Yeah, Louisiana. Yeah. Not that it makes it any better. Emphasis on lose. <laughs> so the children were inside the SUV, age seven and five, while she was pleasuring her boyfriend in the parking lot of a Lake Charles store. It uh, doesn't say what kind of pleasuring that, was My only one of that phrase always just kills me. Pleasuring. pleasuring. Like, what, what does that mean? I mean, like, I get it. We all know what it means, but, like, have you ever, like, instigated the act? But, hey, what, uh, you and me get a little pleasuring going well, on. Yes, you know? actually. A little pleasuring? Yeah, huh? yeah. But were you being serious? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, I want the details, and I want a uh, general. Let's, uh, let's pleasure each other. Like, hey, mm -hmm. how How's that doing for you? How about some pleasuring there, girl? Oh, that's terrible. Leave your kids in the car. Let's go pleasure <laughs> each other. Oh, Louisiana, obviously. Can I just picture, like, an old British couple in, like, 1942. Like, mm, let's go pleasure <laughs> each other. Oh, yeah, Fully clothed. No one. Uh, soft core. Only soft zippers core. and buttons are undone. There's still No maspatoriums. No accommodators. No, no, none of the good stuff. 
Got another one for you here. Pittsburgh Steeler player Cam Thomas. Is he having STD troubles? Ugh. Is there ever time you have an STD and it's not trouble? Yeah, when is it not a trouble? True, but... Uh, you have uh, STD, like... I don't know. I don't have any STD issues. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. You see, in the Marine Corps, if you get an STD, they give you a shot, and 10 days later, you got to go back out in town. It was That's done. it. 10 days, you're done. Yeah. It goes away by then. It goes away, yeah. Now, uh, Cam Thomas, who's an offensive lineman, uh, is being sued. Uh, I meant by defensive lineman, I'm sorry. Is being sued by for allegedly giving his ex girlfriend herpes. Allegedly. This is the gift that keeps on giving. There's no shot for that. Just like once a month, though, I think, right? Yeah. I, I, it's the gift that keeps on giving. There's, I mean, there's, there's no shot for that. No, it's, it's a. It's a lifelong gift. I mean, it's heartfelt when you give it to somebody. It goes and it comes and it goes and it comes and it goes and it comes. <laughs> so this chick's name is Adrian. Adrian! Adrian said she saw pus-filled bumps on her inner thigh and buttocks. Which you don't get. So she questioned, she questioned the lineman. His response, he said his penis... Had got stuck in, stuck in, had got stuck in the zipper of his pants. That's why he had the bumps and the abrasions, if you will. So she noticed them on him and said yes. that. No, no, she noticed it on him, but so then she when she to asked allow him, him about it, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he said it's because now if he got his deal stuck in a zipper, why would they be in his inner thigh and buttocks and not just on his deal? Could uh, scabs well, if, maybe? If she's got blood. scabs, the, really. She got the sores on her buttocks. No, he had a, he had them on his. Oh, oh, she didn't have them on hers. No. Wait, wait, wait. she saw oh. this and still had sex with him. Absolutely. Yeah. Got something. And he now plays in the him. NFL. Of course, she had sex with him. Even after investigating <laughs> his genitalia and. I like off. his reasoning about it though. No, I just yeah, you know it got stuck in my zipper. No big deal. My my inner thigh, my junk, and my butt. Got stuck in my zipper. Yeah, yeah. Was, wink, wink. No, I was but really she in a hurry. When she consented to it, even after. Yeah, normally. It, so she can't win that. Normally, if I'm the judge, boom, you willfully infected this woman with a disease. You're going to jail, or you're paying her a heavy sum of money. But, but she asked him about her. it. She seen it. She investigated it. She asked questions about it. Yeah. Saw it, and still said yes. Welcome into my vagina. My canal. Yes, which is now surely. Less pretty and more Infected. bumpy. Yes. It was probably a hallway. <laughs> Damage goods. Woo! No one's riding that space mountain. I got another one for her. For her uh, another one for you here. It said, uh, it was the weirdest day ever. Police respond after this woman in purple. Is a different story? Different same? story. Okay. Police respond after a woman in purple nightgown spotted walking a naked man on all fours with a leash on rural road. Where? What state? Uh, you should see this lady. West Virginia. But I mean, she, well, she have all right. little shoes on. Point that this way. So West Virginia. I kind of see that. That's brutal. Is she white? Oh, wow. What is she? No, she's white. What was the gaff here? Well, I don't understand. Well, is, is she I white? I can't tell. I mean, she's so, like, fat and discolored. And Dirty. And, like, she she can't tell right, if well, that's she's definitely white. a white woman with, oh, my God. I take like that back. Spanish. That's definitely a white whether or not that's could a, be a guy, yeah, it could I am be a not guy. sure about. That. Oh, that is gross. Yeah, there's. Who that took this away. picture? Get a better camera. No, that's guy. her. No, it's probably a Skype slash webcam slash. Uh, on the street. I'm on Tinder. Oh, on the that. Street, yeah, though. that one. Yeah. Okay. So I thought you were talking about her personal selfie, if you will. Street, right? Slash. Walking I'm by down Tinder. the street on all fours, they naked. Have, they have a thing where it's like um, some horse play thing where people role play. But like one plays as the horse and one plays as the rider, and it's like a king. Oh, thing. legitimate horse play, not yeah, like they horse play like horses and that's uh, they, like when people dress up as like animals in giant fuzzy ugh. costumes. Am I? Do you know what I'm talking about? I mean, that's kind of weird. It kind of sounds like a, a, a an attempt to bestiality like or something like that. Thing. They dress up and they have these like fuzzy animal costumes. Yeah, it's like interesting. Like, it's like bootleg bestiality. So I noticed that in this story, I don't know if you mentioned it or not, but there are pictures. When the police approached 53-year-old Barbara Jean Geraldo, Barbara Jean B.J. Geraldo, as it says in the... Uh, I mean, that's the first one. B.J. The female at first denied any involvement. No, that ain't me in that picture of me. That definitely ain't me. Yeah, I... Uh, what happened? 
he was wa- she was walking down the street with her disgusting boyfriend on That's all fours boyfriend. like it was her dog. She was he was her dog at the moment. Ugh. No, they it said they denied involvement together. Like yeah. they had like I said, that together. gives yeah. what's up, dog. A whole that ain't me in that yeah, picture of me you got. They said it was consensual sex, a consensual sex yeah, game, and outside. they were offended that people were stopping and calling them freaks. Well, I'm offended that you're doing that on the street. In public, seriously? My God, people. If you want to do it in your backyard, I guess that's cool. No, wait a minute. I got a story. I was in Daytona. I'm guessing that's not the first time and you've said that, Chris. <laughs> no. What was that? I'm sorry? Yeah, I have a lot of stories, but this is one. Please. Where, where a guy is leading a girl. Oh, the Joyce. Lady, and she has both her nipples pierced, and her T-shirt's cut out around her nipples. And she has a nose ring, and her nipple rings are connected to her nose ring, which connect to a leash, which this guy is leading her by. Oh, imagine if he tripped or something. Oh, just, yeah, would like, pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. It, all of them. I guess yeah, that's true. A that's a leash. game over scenario right there. That's good. I mean, that's when you have a child, That's and you see that, you're just like, yes, please, let that be my child someday. I think the warden's here. I think the warden's here. Oh, yeah. The warden's showing up. The warden's here. Warden, is that you? Yep. Warden. I know it's her because she didn't answer because she hates that name. <laughs> Let's see. So what's the next? Uh, what's the next on the boat? There? Next one here. Yeah, um, Stooping. Gay porn actor Bruno Knight arrested at LAX, Los Angeles Airport, with half a pound of meth up his butt. Wow. We've we talked about something like this similar. We should have played a guess. Yeah, yeah we should have half a pound was. of dot dot dot. Up his what? Oh yeah. The answer is yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he was found with a uh, half a pound of crystal meth shoved up his ass when things started going decidedly wrong. Dot, 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 go figure. The British native never made it on the plane back to London as he attempted to board the Virgin Atlantic flight. Customs and Border Protection, acting on a tip from the DPA, stopped, DEA, stopped and questioned him. Like, why? Who? Who has a half a pound of anything? Now, we've, we've <laughs> talked about this before. Yeah, anything. The one chick who had a pound of meth what? in her vagina before. What is in your hand, Warden? I can a honestly pound? tell you that the only time... Speaking of pounds of drugs, what is that? Oh, that's that cinnamon? That's probably some tree root. It's plant. Is that valerian root? It's meal oh, replacement. Oh, it's Slim it's Fast. It's a green oh, it's a meal powder. replacement plant. Oh, yeah, it's meal green replacement. Powder you in eat a ground bag. up trees. Sounds delicious. And it gives you all the. You know when I eat ground up trees? When I'm having iced tea. That's about it. Yeah. Um, no. Anyway, half a pound of anything up your butt. Honestly, I can honestly say that the only time you'll ever catch me with any amount of things in my butt, it's going to be when the guy who's a billionaire says, See all this money here? Whatever you can ram up your butt, you can take it home. <laughs> That's the only time I'm going to get a half That's a pound so of anything perfect. in my butt. That was fantastic. Thank, Thank you. I really like that. Any billionaires out there listening who are into that kind of now, thing, two, feel free to contact well, money me, in the corner, subscribe, right. and like the channel. It's all coins, but... <laughs> uh, gold coins. I'll take them. All right, I got another one here for you that you should like this. Surgeons of Sc- Oh, of course it's going to want to love. Genuinely, I wish the viewers could see this. It looks like she's... Has a perfectly good bottle of water that one would drink, and she's just well. I got this dirt I that guess, one I would just, drink. I just want to pour and some I've dirt. told her that Yul, Yul Gibbons died eating pine cones. I don't even know who he is. So that's proof he's dead. Surgeons discover five-inch sex toy in woman's vagina that had been there for how many years? Oh, Other, oh, 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 oh McBride gets it because everybody else on how many? How long? You guys know this. Well, we do. The warden got it. Yeah. Right? I'm gonna go. Ten years. Yeah, ten years in her vagina. Yeah. What kind of sex toy? A five-inch sex toy. Doesn't say exactly what how? kind of a... How? I... It, did she claim to not know of this? A 38-year-old went to hospital complaining of severe weight loss and lethargia. Doctors found strange foreign object protruding into bladder from her vagina. The toy had caused her potentially life-threatening internal damage. A woman admitted she was under the influence of alcohol when she used the toy. Ten years ago? I... For 10 years. So she was in her mid to late tw- uh, 20s, yes. So for 10 years, you stuck a rubber dong in you. Okay, you're drunk. Maybe you forget about that overnight. Well, it happened, yeah, just once. But and still. Then, how do you Ten not years? feel it in there? Like. Well, that's weird. I won't investigate that. that. Like, what's this What's this thing inside of me? I don't know. Yeah, it's understand. a thing. Like, like, like we mentioned earlier. Maybe she was going for a world record. That's the only way I'll Well, get, what I'll we mentioned earlier is more like maybe a hot dog down a hallway type situation. Could be. But still, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it slide oh, out? Oh, no. Do you know what I would... 
Okay, Coog, right? Cougar. Oh, yeah, Coog. Warden Cougar. Coog. <laughs> Warden Com Cougar. Warden Coog. Coog, Coog, Coog. Sounds like a Dukes of Hazard character. <laughs> Warden Coog. Hot on the trail, the Duke boys. Hey, Coog, what you yeah, doing? Oh, I'll say that again. That was good radio. I said it will be the Duke boys hot on the trail of Warden. I like that. I True. like that. Jumping out windows, getting ready. All right, next one here. You guys should really appreciate this. I'm a better mom for having a boo job. Young mother spends... I agree. I don't even need like to hear the story. It's like 5,000 pounds or something like that. I don't know. Boosting her post-pregnancy chest from 32 double A. That's pretty big. To 32 G. Oh! All right, all right. So hand the mic to... Now, where'd you get that skin? That's gross. Hand the mic to Cougar. That's gross. Here, here. Because, because. Ew, um, that drink you've made looks Cougar, awful. Cougar, do you Cougar, feel Cougar, had a, Cougar had a boob job. What? That looks like so, poison. Am I the only one who's well, concerned let's, let's that she's about out, to drink now, that? Now, come on. Uh, yeah, now, come it's on, like chocolate milk. milk. Now, this girl went to a double G? Is that what yeah, you said? From yeah, from a, oh, no, a, a G. 32 G from a double A. I mean, so she went from same thing. she went from, from one of those shots you buy at the liquor store, the little plastic bottles, to like a handle. So Cougar, where did she get the extra skin at? Talk to us. It went from probably large, her child that doesn't exist. Went from a large clitoris size, Cougar. China style. Now yeah. heard it there. Yeah. And they're itty bitty, and they have a baby. Their belly gets huge. Where does it come from? Your skin stretches. stretches. Well, yeah, but it came from your ass, and then it all went back. Wow. <laughs> Bazinga! Let's not talk about my ass because I heard about the conversation you had with your daughter about how big my ass was. <laughs> oh, she when was, was this? I never had no conversation Eric, with okay. your daughter. Intern. Let's have that when, conversation yeah, when was this? now. I, yeah, when was this? This is good radio. Ask Joyce. Did you get me Ask in trouble? Jo Joyce. Leash. Leash, but. whatever. Ask him. <laughs> Cougar. Cougar. I asked. Don't call your mom Cougar. That's weird. Big. But you know what? This is the reason that I have all these young guys. Needs to drink me. weird Cougar, the first things. thing they say. What? Your ass was the first thing I noticed. How could you miss it? Now, are these, uh, are these how, characters how white romantic or black? Or both? Mixture. So they're well, mulatto. Right, oh, so you mean both Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not yet, yeah, not. Pertaining to the story. Next. Did getting a boob job make you a better mother? It was irrelevant. Ah, see, but this lady says not so much. Without. Yeah, I, I retract my initial oh, wait, backing wait minute, of intern. this because that's too big. What that's gross. What did you gross. tell the warden or uh, the MILF over here? What's <laughs> Coog. Coog. Warden. I'm sorry. Warden Coog. We compromise. Coog. What what did you tell? I didn't tell her anything. I said evidently ask, you did. Ask him. This evidently guy right next you did. to me. Ask him. Well, well, I I hardly ever talk to Chris. Or um, you're right. I told Joyce. him Leash. that he Joyce. and that he ratted wow. you out. He ratted you out. What? I didn't. Delving into the world of family emotions. But it was there. It was in turn. He yeah, it was. It. Yeah, it does sound like something she yeah. would say. You're yeah. such a I don't even bag. remember. We are quickly derailing. I know exactly what you're talking about. It was you. What's the next uh, deal we no, have? No, so... Oh, so, so, so Good so save. Let's, nice let's save. The page here and no, so this, this lady says she was ashamed to leave the house and her son couldn't go on play dates or go to clubs because she was ashamed of her breast size. Is this a different lady? No, same lady, 32 Wait, age. No, 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 I mean, we talked about this about a month ago. Some no, British lady. Oh, that, that, was that was a British lady who was trying to have an abortion by smoking and oh, drinking. Oh, she was upset it was a boy. Yes, That's she right. was upset it was a boy, so she tried to kill the fetus. No. Stop. This lady also said since her surgery, she has signed up for numerous mother and son play groups. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the child. How old are the it sons? Strictly... The sons are all 18 years old. That's mother-son play dates. No, the mom is 19, and the child is dose. No, no, I mean the sons that are going on the play dates. The sons are going online and going, all right. Yeah, now, if you would like to see what, what is going on before it's we put gross. on the... I know it's going to be gross. Go right, so that's before. Or up, actually, yeah, yeah. Wow, she looked fine in the first one. Yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't terrible. You're what right. What are you ashamed of? Yeah, exactly. It, it's 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 mentality. Those are too big. No, they, they look dumb. She wants to be a Barbie. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. That, See? nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Wait, she was a double Wait, A. Oh. 32 double A. Double a. Tiny, little she's boobs. She's like tiny, though. Yeah, okay. she's very tiny. I mean, fitting for her body size. Nothing wrong with that. Was that what's, you know what the problem is? That's what is? she looked like. That's, 
That's when she started. That's no, problem. Oh, mentality. That's the problem. Yeah. For those that can't see me talking right now, I'm pointing at my brain. There's something wrong with her brain. So she makes up a reason to justify what she did because she has low self -control. You heard it from a woman. Women are crazy. Thank you. Yeah, the, you know, the, the fact that that woman said that, I, I, it's so insulting to other women. That woman is banging, smoking hot. And she was saying that she was ashamed to go out of her house. Oh, my God. Imagine the people out there who don't have perfect bodies or who are like, you know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with You're that. You're basically just saying, hey, uh, you fat, ugly pig. Yeah. You think you're ugly. Fuck yourself. You think you're ugly. Look at me. And meanwhile, she's a runway model. <laughs> Disgusting. That woman should be Agreed. punched in the face. Yes. Her, her boobies should be stricken from the court and removed. All right, I got this one here, and I haven't really read into this. It's from BroBible.com. Sounds reliable. Looking for your dream job? This woman makes over twenty grand a year, having fifteen orgasms at week, a week at work. Was she a webcam girl and or something? And it's not porn. So what is she? Electric shock. Orgasm yeah, what is it? What are you No, give hold us on. I mean, you know, I mean, give me a second she, here. She test. <laughs> She's one of the testers for the uh, accommodator. I mean that is possible. No, what what it, what it what it does? Are you okay? Oh you wow! Ooh, look at that look. I want to get Viewers, I wish you could have seen that. In one of those little pump tits. What's it called? The masturbatorium. Uh, masturbatorium. Masturbatorium. And I want to ride the subway in New York. You'd look. You'd probably fit in. You think you'd be the only one doing that? You know how cool it'd be to actually have an accommodator well, and a masturbatorium and go like yeah, sit in true. a library and get video of like the reactions you get with a dildo on your face. All right, let's do it for and the a show. Tent. We should. <laughs> Sounds like it. We should let's do it. But any one of our avid like fans like feels like helping us out and maybe well, purchasing us an accommodator or a masturbatorium, please new only. Uh, we will accept it. Send us a message on YouTube and then we'll use it. We'll record it and we'll show you guys the. Uh, Ridiculousness. No, this too bad we don't have video because with a tongue like this, I really don't need a, a an accommodator. Wow. <laughs> no filter. Sadly whatsoever. for you, most of our audience is dudes. No filter. Anything? Anything? Any comment to that uh, comment? Coog is silent. The warden is silent. Can oh, you believe it? Stoic. Brutal. No, this lady, um, she has uh, tested more than 2,000 toys in her life. Yeah, I She's a toy tester, like yeah. basically. Yeah, that's wow. great. Great idea. Is there yeah. an application link on there? You want to try it? Goddamn right. No. There's male sex toys. You only have one hole. There's hey, male sex for toys. For 20 grand a year, you can test toys? That's it? Yeah. yeah but you, you tell me you don't do that anyway? You're about moving again. I, th I think we're talking about shoving stuff up your is ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if that's what I have to do, not for 20 grand, no. 20 grand is probably not worth I'm going to need like 24 grand. That's bare minimum. <laughs> that four grand makes a significant it does, difference. It does. Four grand makes a difference. Extra $300 a month. That's it. That's what's going to put me through those sleepless nights. Ugh. Well, it won't be a sleepless night because you That's be true. It's a very good plan. It won't be. Well, apparently, it might not be a sleepless 10 years because I just might forget about one up there for a while. <laughs> So I got another one here. It's from the Daily Mail UK. We got a couple from here. Okay. Um, about a month ago, uh, about three weeks ago, there was a guy who put out a spreadsheet. In UK, that would be a fortnight and a week. Okay. And uh, this guy puts out a spreadsheet that says uh, he had about six weeks worth of time that actually says exactly every night he wanted to have sex with his wife. Oh, I saw this. Is this the couple that had sex every night? No, no, no. no. no oh, okay. Completely opposite. This lady, or this guy, wrote every time his wife denied him sex in a six-week period and gave the reasons why. This is going to be good. I like this. I mean, it goes everything from I'm watching a show. I hope every one of them is I hate you. The first okay. one? No, no, no. I'm watching a show. It was a Friends rerun. And it runs all the way to... I'm sweaty and gross, and I'm tired. So what? In a six-week period, this guy had sex three times. That's terrible. So and you try it every night. Th yeah, and, you know it literally spells it out oh, unbeknownst says, to the wife. Correct? He was. This is a. This is a blind study. Yeah, she had blind study. Yeah, great. no clue. No That's clue. Great. Excel spreadsheet. So basically, what this is is he's writing a paper called "Here's Why My Wife Is a Bitch," or as they'd say in the UK, a cunt. 
Yeah. It means a totally different thing over there. It's not nearly as bad as it is over here. Hey, see you next Tuesday. Okay. See you next Tuesday. So I still say that all the time. Here where I love it, it is um, nose, but the excuse is nonverbal. So just a. Yeah. A, well, that would well, be that's verbal. verbal. Yeah, that is verbal. You're right. But Maybe she flicked him off or something. Like I just came back from the gym. I feel gross. But then well, wait till shower, I'm done with you. Didn't shower till the next morning. Well, it's the kind of thing that we what, talked about in a previous like said, show. This is, so he's just trying to prove that his wife is a bitch. Well, we talked about this in a previous show with the whole thing, like, you know, lady goes to the gym, wears yoga pants. Yeah, what, the idea I, of the idea wait, of wait, wait, marinating wait. to me, yeah. that's what I think about. Yeah, marinating. Pants. That's it's really it. gross. I can't wait, think wait. of meat the same Guys, way. I yes. might be getting sick. Might be getting sick. Again, I would have used my, my go-to rebuttal. Wait till I'm done with you. Yeah, Why would she be getting sick? sick? Get. Yeah. Wait, do you see what I'm doing to her? That's see what I'm getting at here. Yeah, I got, it, I get it, I get it, I get it. You think now, you're sick now? Wait till I'm done with you. Now, this story though isn't about that spreadsheet. Okay. It's about a female's rebuttal. So not she the found same out. wife. No, no, oh, no, no, okay. no, no, no. Different lady. It's ironic that that her study is on a spreadsheet when he just couldn't get uh, his wife to spread her legs. That's yeah, Couldn't get it done in the sheets, yeah, spread the legs the sheets, in the yeah. sheets. Yeah. It's great. Wait, this is a completely different this lady? Is, no, no, no. This is a lady, completely different, Saw and this is about her husband. Since this has come out literally spreadsheet after spreadsheet online of people doing sex studies, I think once one person put it out. See, that's what I thought it was. Now I saw some there. update online somewhere where it said, couple has sex every night for a month. This is what happened. Now, suppose you did a study. If you have, It's like a sex challenge. Let if me you guess. You're going to be happier? Yes. Weird. Strange, right? Yeah. Who the who to thunk? Uh, I, uh -huh. I told him that I wanted to have sex, and he said that the Tigers were in extra innings. The answer was no. I'm going to go with this guy's in Michigan. Yeah. Nobody else is a Tigers fan other than if you're in Michigan. Yeah, this one or here, I, this one here is, I believe, two times in a six-week period. Oh, that's brutal. And it's the guy denying it, apparently, this time. A lot of guys are like that. A lot of guys are like that. More guys than you think. To be honest with you. Nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. What? Oh, I'm just. I mean, it's been a year for me, so it doesn't matter. See, there you go. That's what I'm saying. He, he's. You're making do. You're living. I mean, most Not of these. Things. I don't know. If, uh, yeah, I need one of those tents, though. Yeah. <laughs> <really do. laughs> Uh, you guys got one of those tents? <laughs> tents with a receptacle on the inside, though, <laughs> to catch it. He yeah, needs a hose with, like, a, a two-liter on the side there. What? Well, I'm not going to say I don't need it anymore. No, but you can live without it. It's not the end of the world. About it to get to that point. And correct me if I'm wrong, you still have both your hands. Yes. And one of them is holding the microphone. You might want to watch that. It's been a year. Well, yeah, but my left hand is like, I can't even wipe my ass with it. It's a stranger. Yeah, it's a stranger. Can you imagine a combination of the stranger, the accommodator, and the masturbatorium all in one? With that thing on your chin. Yeah, the accommodator. The accommodator. Wow, yeah. I'm trying to think of a one worder for that. Wow, let me let me think of See, a. I was trying slogan. to figure out the use of the accommodator because. A comma strangeatorium. That's it, it. Well, it doesn't make any sense to me. What doesn't make sense to you? The accommodator. Thing on the little thing. Yeah, so you can have I've seen it. Hands. It doesn't make sense to me because he hands free. He hands. You well, can be doing the deal with the anyway. the langua, and then you can still like be in. Well, unless you're some kind of a wizard, you can't well, see, do oral and. Sport. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, that's a big, that's an impressive <laughs> tongue. But you still, it's still not a penis, though. You know what I mean? And then while you're in there with that, this is good. You can't do yeah, because it, there's, there's you can't this press the buttons on the elevator. That's what the nose is for. Oh, okay. Has you you've seen the accommodator? Bring him up, picture of the accommodator. I, I did. I did. The it rubber. Like a banana. That's great. But see, you're talking to a guy that has 69 tattooed on his chest. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. I think the most ridiculous thing about the accommodator is the accommodator itself. Like, imagine. Imagine being done pleasuring yourselves, and then you like go into the bathroom to do whatever, and you look, catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror wearing that. Like, how do you, how do you not just start laughing or crying? Like, I just start shaking your head. Like this. Now, okay, uh, I know we we just recently saw this, and I know you saw the first uh, season of American History or American Horror Story. Yes, great show. 
the second episode, I think it shows that like sex slave outfit. Oh, the gimp. Gimp yeah, it's a gimp suit. Yeah, on the first season. Now, she, I mean, she's not going to listen to this, but Black Silk. Mm -hmm. Into that? No, no, no. That's her costume for Comic Con today. Oh, that's nah. great. The gimp? She's wearing that? Something to extremely to that similar. Extremely similar. Yeah, that's cool. For what reason? What uh, What do you, why? You know what it is? I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's psychological. Correct me if I'm wrong, listeners. Like, subscribe, post on there if I'm an idiot. It has to do with, like, you're more willing to do things you wouldn't normally do when you can't be seen. Why like is you're that a costume in You are. If nobody knows who you it's are. It's a TV show. Movies and shows. You no, dress up as... Black Silk is wearing that to Comic-Con. That's what Yeah, that's a said. TV yeah, show. If you have a black hood You dress on, up as... Nobody oh, she's knows wearing who she it is. for that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's her costume. Yeah, what nobody you saying? knows who she is because she's yeah, a black Yeah, exactly. You, you, you'd do some freakier stuff if you were wearing that and, like, they couldn't see it. That, that's just the psychology behind it. You're less, in, you're less held back because you're hidden... You're, you're not you. Hey, one so what are your thoughts, Warden? Can we get you a black hood with a ball cap? Warden Coog. Warden Coog. When is Warden going to go away? I don't know. What would you like to be called? She's talking to a mic. She doesn't have a mic. And you're yeah, come share. Okay, what would you like to be called? Come here. Yeah, Coog. Coog. Talk, Talk to me. What is it? What would you you're like Coog. I don't like anything but my name. Yeah, Coog. Coog. We can't Which call one? You that. Coog's good, right? Coog. No, that is fine. That is fine. Apparently, that's my... That's your new name. Yeah. We're going to call her Cougar. That's your problem. Well, that's yeah. problem, so that's my name. Don't wear it out. Yeah, well, Cougar I mean... Is your problem. Yes. Uh, the I Redneck, like what do you think about that? Uh, what do you think like about that problem we heard today on the last show? <laughs> I would like to know how to un-Cougar a Cougar so that... Stop showering, buy some ugly clothes... Maybe shop at no, Walmart. excuse me. Let me just make a clarification here. Each time, probably most every time that I have been approached, I have looked my worst. Sweatpants, a tank top, and not even put a comb through my hair. Oof. And all I get is, guys, what you are so beautiful. And I'm wow. like, are you serious? Well, take it as a compliment. Here you go. Well, take it as a compliment and move on. That's it. It'll be over. They're not new. <laughs> They're new to me. Oh, wow. I was married to you. Making the moves. <laughs> so, with are you sure that the twin, being said... Are you sure the twin bed's okay tonight? With oh. that guys being can go said, back to her house. Um, oh. the whole looking my worst apparently is, is attractive. So I'm not really sure what else to do. Stop going out in public. Look I at the intern. that's really the only option. Look at the intern. What? She's looking at us like... She's going to throw up. Over there yeah, so look at her. She's going to throw up. <laughs> it's weird. It's not... This isn't a thing. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like they Strange. split up when it was very, very, very... We have, cool, trans so. we have transported into a parallel dimension <laughs> where this is now a thing. Danger, Will it's Robinson. Weird. Danger. Someone's on the same page. Hey, so the, the last thing about that little spreadsheet story is out of the 30 days, all that's listed on seven of them, magic wand. Nice. The woman? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Magic wand. Taking care of business. It's pretty good. good. What else you got? You have a magic wand. I got wand. nothing else. Do we have any trivia? I don't have any trivia. I don't have anything. Yeah. Today. That's it? Yeah. It's I a thought. short deal today. Whoa. No, show's not here. Why yeah. are we making fun of him if he's not even Ouch. here? I didn't say that it was going to be a four-minute show. Wow. Ouch. Man. Ouch. Good thing shows an avid listener. He'll get to hear that. In a no, he will. He's going to listen to it. Well, probably tomorrow when it's actually up. You got Before anything? Show, because because the first thing up. I saw on a walk in here was a folder. And on uh -oh. this folder, now believe me, listeners, on this folder, it says oh, no. the show. This I love it in the butthole. <laughs> DGAF. Uh, With a heart drawn on it. That's what it's, I mean, that's the first thing I saw on yeah, a walk in here. Yeah, that's the gaff said show loves it in the butt. It looks like a love letter to him, though. That's yeah, the interesting it does. thing about it. Well, it see, does. I was scared to open it, so I didn't. Yeah, it's usually that has safe. That has all the uh, old school trivia in it. The, uh, all, all the, the are you smarter than the Hooters girl? Uh, or Hooters manager in the... No, I actually... Are you I'm, smarter than the Hooters manager? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done both of those, so do. that would be yeah. the answer is no. Um, <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the epitome of leash. And what, I mean, there's different... All areas. Guests. General knowledge. This guy. 
It's true. Minus the common sense areas. Ooh. She got you. Got you, spooked you. Yeah, whatever. All right, so we're still trying to do that uh, roller derby on August 24th. Yeah, we're yeah. still in the process of hopefully working that out to be our first live show. Uh, let's see. what. Uh, what's the deal with the laundromat thing? I'm trying to figure that out right now. Talk about something else real quick. Do we have any other closing words? Guys, yeah, do, yeah. do you guys have anything? Anything in closing? Anything. Well, I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, good Lord only knows when I'll be back. You know, Where are you going? I, back home. Well, I'm going Port back to Lucy? Port St. Lucie. And then I'm going to... Uh, where am I going? I'm going to Chicago. For, for about 20 uh, weeks. A 20-week run on work. And we'll see what happens after that. And then we're, we're trying to get to Vegas for the intern's 21st we birthday are, in we January. Are. We're trying to get to Vegas. Are you going to go to Vegas with us? I no, we haven't talked about this yet. Oh. Well, you know what? We can share a room. You can show me your boobies. Um, we are going to, for, for I, no, Erica's okay. 21st birthday, uh, for the intern's 21st birthday, we're going to try to go to Vegas and you know, just have a good time. We it's all about a good time. Animal. I mean, we could um, get some strippers and you know, just have a blast. We should probably get two rooms, though. I mean, we'll share a room and then, you know. King, no, King. And no, and nobody's seeing my boobs. Boobs. I get to see my boobs. That's well, that makes sense. That kind of—I mean, okay. Honestly, in in listening to that from this side of the room, that defeats the purpose. It does. Of what? Having oh. boobs. I'm not asking to see anything. No, not at all. But okay. I'm saying it defeats the purpose of getting them. In my opinion. I feel like we're talking about this lady on here it's who made herself a better mom for getting fake boobs. She is a hoe. Wow. Oh, wow. And brutal. She needed an excuse. Careful. Don't want to start an international incident. About getting the boobs instead of using that money to do something for her child. It was UK. It was probably paid for. In her mind, it is. Go it was government, government uh, subsidized. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Government paid for it. Wait, the wait, government paid for her boobs. Yeah, in UK, it's government because subsidized. Because she said it's going to make her a better mother. It was probably a mental thing, so the government paid wow. for it. Oh, wow. So you could have went to the UK and got it for free. Or he could have just pleaded <laughs> that you couldn't function without bigger boobs. And yeah. I've said that uh, numerous times in my <laughs> life. <laughs> you could have said your shoulders too heavy. They're dragging you backwards. You need bigger boobs to drag you forward. Wow. Yeah, so the laundry thing, Joyce, that you were asking about, um, we don't have a date. Joyce, we don't have a date yet. Um, the website, if you want to check it out, it's, a, it's an organization called Current. Um, the main website is engagecurrent.com, and the actual laundry thing is called The Laundry Project. You know, there'll be a link on there. What is this laundry deal Basically, about? what they do is um, they go to a laundry in a local like neighborhood, you know, like the little quarter coin laundries, and um, they come with boxes of quarters, all the detergent, all the dryer sheets and everything like that. And people who can't afford to do their laundry or just need to get their laundry done or whatever come there, and they pay for it. And you know, it's people like come to their laundry. Deal. It's awesome. Hey, why um, are we Where did that come from? We're okay. gonna we're gonna hook up with them at some point and do a show from there, hopefully, and just trying to get the word out about it. Get some uh, comments. Inter interview the people from the neighborhoods, people on the street. And if we street. can. What street the crew? Street. That's what street. people call it. And if we can, uh, if we can get to the uh, roller derby, we're going to actually have Black Silk, who we've mentioned. Uh, yeah, she mentioned will actually her be show. on the show before. Yep, trying to get her on the show, and then we'll. Uh, the roller derby thing is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can actually. We should. We're going to start planning this. Let's let's organize this. Let's get some people to come out there with us, and I think it'll be a fun time. Yeah, the. Uh, I mean, we're kind of waiting on a go ahead from the roller derby. Other than that, I mean, in my eyes, we're good. We're good to go. Born and raised. Uh, anybody got anything in closing? I think we've already asked that about 20 minutes ago. But no, I'm burnt. Party. I'm full. Yeah, you guys. Anyone? Are anyone? 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 Anyone want to say bye? See you later. Maybe this next time. This is Redneck signing off. It's good. All right. So uh, I guess until next time. Might be a week or so from now. You guys are going out of town this week, huh? No, that's September. We're Beginning of September. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a month. Oh, whatever. Next so maybe week. next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Okay. Bye.